Hey guys, it's your girl Simply China and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to unbox, you guessed it, the Brother SE625. This is the embroidery machine slash sewing machine for all my girls out there that are trying to either start embroidery or, you know, want to start up a business in the embroidery space. Who's back? to it as you can see it comes with this baggy hair um it comes with a couple of things but this bag comes with like your scissors your stylus a um, couple of the headers a brother's bag and this is actually the frame that you're going to put your um fabric in the presser foot and um this is the uh cable that you're going to need to plug in and this is the brothers sewing embroidery machine right here this is the component that actually makes it capable of doing the embroidery because as you could see here what um is already attached is the sewing part so we're gonna actually take off all the tape the blue tape um take that off you don't want that <laughs> and just start um unboxing the actual brothers machine so once that's done we're gonna actually take the plug plug it in to the machine now you're going to see me turn it to the side this is actually where you're going to plug in your cable and as you can see to the side is where the switches and the usb port but we'll get back to that later and we're going to jump into the bag this is the second bag that has the interchangeable presser foots that come out the q um i believe this is the q foot or something along those lines that we're actually going to change um the presser foot that comes on the machine so we're going to change that out to actually do the embroidery part but we're going to actually plug up this one right now and that's actually what you can use for you know sewing and all of that jazz so that's the end of it you're going to plug it into that same side that you use the um that you turned on the machine as you can see here yep so as you can see you're going to plug it in here and then this is your power supply turn on your switch well your switch and then you have your usb at the side so everything is right to the side it's so easy to understand and this is the actual component that you're going to pull out and that's the presser foot that you're going to change to the q-tip so yeah so in order to change everything you're going to get this screw um I wouldn't call it a screwdriver but basically a screwdriver that's going to allow you to dissemble the presser foot that's attached this is the one that came um, on it which is just a regular sewing one but you're gonna need this Q um, foot one that actually looks it has actually like a Q at the bottom which is really easy to kind of differentiate which one it is and this is what you're going to put under the machine comment down below if you guys really want a very close up detailed version of how to attach this to the machine because it kind of took me a little bit but i just actually held the back part of it down and then put it under and pushed up to me that was like the easiest option it was a lot easier and then once you're done with that you're going to just screw it back the same way that you screwed it off so like i said comment down below if you want to see more this is the machine turned on and basically as you can see we're going to get into the um other parts of the machine so this is it after you're finished <laughs> okay so now as you can see this is a close-up of the same um embroidery frame that i mentioned earlier this is what comes inside with like the i guess alignment or ruler that you can use but i basically just needed this part and at the very bottom you're going to like unscrew it 
but first you're going to get your fabric this is the fabric i'm going to use it's um waverly this is actually at your like walmart you can just get smaller pieces and then this you're going to need a stabilizer you're going to need some type of sta um sewing stabilizer now i'm gonna be honest with you i bought this one but i did not like it because it broke my needles and this is actually um your bobbin so you can get pre-wounded bobbins i recommend honestly just um starting to learn how to do it yourself and then this is the all-purpose thread i also recommend possibly getting embroidery thread so these are the needles this is embroidery needles and then it also gives you a pack of needles here and this is all you're really going to need to kind of get started to be honest with you so once again keep this screw thing close okay you're going to need this for like everything so you can use this to actually open up the embroidery frame itself you're, you can also use your fingers and then you're going to take your stabilizer this particular one is an iron-on um stabilizer that i got from walmart However, like I said, I was not fond of it because it was just too stern. It was actually breaking my needles. So I had to go to um, Joann's to get like a softer. You want something that's similar to like a padding, some type of padding format. You want it to be very soft so that when you're working on your embroidery, it's less likely for breaking and all of that stuff down the line. It did get the job done as far as like embroidering, which you'll see at the end but it just came with complications as you keep on doing the embroidering as you go so that's just something i wouldn't recommend visit my amazon storefront i'm gonna put all the products that you actually do want to get or you need in my amazon storefront so definitely check that out i'm gonna have that link below so now as you can see it's loose you're supposed to take off the front and you're going to get your stabilizer you're going to measure out everything you need and you're going to also measure out your fabric now you're also you also should have some type of like crafting scissors or sewing scissors i have these big um gold ones that i got from walmart but just really try to get yourself some type of crafting scissors because it's just gonna make your life so much easier um as far as cutting but it does come with a small scissor and that one i would recommend just using for threading so if you're trying to cut thread or trying to cut out thread from like gathering or bunching up that's what the small scissors are going to be used for All right, so now as you can see, I got my Cricut Press, Easy Press, the tiny one, and I lined everything up. After I cut it, I cut the fabric, I cut the stabilizer, and I started ironing on the, the stabilizer. It's gonna be like this, which is a paper feeling. That's what you don't want. You do not want that. You want it to be, like I said, mesh, because that paper feeling is really, like I said, like really hard on the needle. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys you know maybe change the needle out to a different needle and it worked but i feel like it's better probably for sewing and not for embroidery so it should feel tight um regardless of whatever stabilizer you use or whatever you're going to use it needs to be very tight it needs to be almost like beating a drum so if you can't beat it like a drum or it doesn't have some type of like tapping motion or anything and it's coming out by the end that's not what you want you need to be tight so once you do that you're going to put it under as you can see as i did and clip it in and you'll just tap the machine and it will actually get it stable or i guess structured i should say and that's really it then you can actually thread your needle as you can see i started off with just pulling a little bit of the thread making sure that you start your thread from the bottom so it should come from the bottom and you're pulling it it has a full-on diagram where you will put your needle so it's one two then down which is three and then four would be up and around and under will be six so honestly like i said just comment down below if you want a very detailed video on how to thread the machine but ideally it's really one two and three like it's numeric um that you follow
and then the last part of it is actually this part where you kind of just cut it so you just pull down and it actually cuts the remainder of the thread and then you see that side like button piece once i turn this around i'm going to actually press that that is the pre-threader so i don't have to sit there with especially my nails and be trying to fiddle with this needle okay so you're gonna press that and it's gonna automatically thread for you right there okay that's how um the machine actually does its pre-threading so that's one great thing that you don't have to worry about this is the bobbin that i showed you guys earlier it's already round rounded um you want to place that in make sure you bring that around once again it is a diagram to showcase how to do that and if you want i can show that in another video but you make sure this is done correctly if it is not your actual design will gather 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 it will look terrible it will be just a horrible experience so clip that into place and then you're going to put back in that same frame and clip that onto that um i guess you could say rectangular piece that's what's going to actually hold the embroidery frame in motion and it's going to move it around for you for the machine to do what it needs to do All right, so we are at the finish line. After all of that, I kind of just kept it simple and sweet. I followed all the um, presets. I was just kind of like looking at it. I would recommend doing that yourself. But obviously I picked one of the already designs that are on your machine. So the Brothers already has preset embroidery designs that you can select from. I just did a simple C. I was curious to see how that would look. One thing I really like about this machine, it has a full on diagram where you can see the colors of the threads. Um, you can kind of get a full taste of what your design is gonna look like before you even do it. And on top of that, it has a smart um, sensor where it actually shows you specifically in movement where the ends and the beginnings of your corners are going to be. So in case you're kind of like over design, you will be able to catch it sooner. So. I'm gonna let it do its thing comment down below if you guys want to see more embroidery videos like this and make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you thank you thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye